In the following tutorial, you will learn how to start up Hilltip's H-Track tracking system and begin taking advantage of all of the benefits of one of the most sophisticated tracking systems on the market today. We will go through the following network options. Strike Smart Controller with a modem network connection, Strike Smart Controller with a Wi-Fi connection, and the Strike Smart application with a Wi-Fi or SIM card network connection. Let's start with the Strike Smart Controller with a modem network connection. In the plastic bag numbered H25963, you will find a USB adapter cable, a piece of Velcro tape, and a 3G network modem, also called a 3G dongle. To begin, insert the SIM card into the dongle. The SIM card together with the network subscription should be purchased through your local cellular network supplier. Please be aware that the SIM card must be the largest model offered by your cellular provider, also referred to as standard. Begin by applying the Velcro tape to the dongle and the back of the StrikeSmart controller. Fasten the dongle in place and connect the USB cable between the dongle and the USB port found on the StrikeSmart controller. The setup is now ready to be mounted and connected to the vehicle. Please begin by pressing the info button found on the main menu, then press about and look for the serial number. Please write the serial number down as you will need it in the steps that follow. For your information, you are also able to check the current iStriker software version installed on the controller and available future updates while in the About screen. Please go back to the main menu and press Settings, Logging, and then set H-Track as your logging alternative. Please go back to the main menu. You will now notice that the H-Track selection now appears on the main menu. Press H-Track, Settings, and make sure that the Wi-Fi is set to disable. Please go back to the H-Track menu and press Modem Settings. Insert the PIN code for the SIM card and then choose the correct operator according to your network supplier. When the PIN code and operator is set, remember to press the OK button found in the green square. The message Connection OK will appear on the screen. If you are not able to find the correct operator in the list, please proceed to the operator field and select APN instead of operator. Insert the APN, also known as the access point name. If you are not aware of the APN, please contact your cellular network provider. Please remember to press the OK button found in the green square and the message Connection OK will appear on the screen. Please go back to the H-Track menu, press Settings, and then Test. The StrikeSmart controller will run a quick test and give you a message that the connection is OK. I hope that you took my earlier advice and wrote down the serial number because the last step is to enter the H-Track online platform on our homepage to complete your H-Track subscription. Let's move on to the second network option, which is the StrikeSmart controller with a Wi-Fi connection. In the plastic bag, numbered H29180, you will find a Wi-Fi receiver, also called a Wi-Fi dongle. Besides an external network source, this is the only component you will need in this setup. Please insert the dongle straight into the USB port found on the StrikeSmart controller. The setup is now ready to be mounted and connected to the vehicle. Please begin by pressing the Info button found on the main menu. Then press About and look for the serial number. Please write the serial number down as you will need it in the steps that follow. For your information, you are also able to check the current iStriker software version installed on the controller and available future updates while in the About screen.
please go back to the main menu and press Settings, Logging, and then set HTRAC as your logging alternative. Please go back to the main menu. You will now notice that the HTRAC selection now appears on the main menu. Press HTRAC, Settings, and make sure that Wi-Fi is set to Enable. Please go back to the HTRAC menu and press Wi-Fi Settings. The StrikeSmart controller will now automatically look for available networks. The network you choose should have a strong connection and be safe to use. Please enter the password to access the chosen network. The password is specific to the network source. If you check the Enable Network box, the StrikeSmart controller will remember the specific network and the password for future connections. Please finish it up by clicking the Save icon. Please go back to the HTRAC menu, press Settings, and then Test. The StrikeSmart controller will run a quick test and give you a message that the connection is OK. I hope you took my earlier advice and wrote down the serial number because the last step is to enter the HTRAC online platform on our homepage to complete your HTRAC subscription. Let's move on to the last option, which is the StrikeSmart application on the smartphone. Please begin by making sure that the smartphone is paired and connected to the specific unit that you will track. Before you proceed, please make sure that the smartphone has a network connection either through Wi-Fi or a SIM card. If you are using a Wi-Fi network, please remember that the connection should be strong and safe to use. Press the HTRAC icon found on the main menu and enable the use of HTRAC. An error message will appear on the screen. Please ignore the message by pressing the OK button. You will then get HTRAC information on the screen. Look for the connected device ID number and write it down because you will need it in the steps that follow. At this stage, I also recommend that you click on the Privacy Policy link and read the HTRAC Privacy Policy. The last step is to enter the HTRAC online platform on our homepage to complete your HTRAC subscription.